Hi there, it's DJ B, and today I'm going to be giving you a studio room tour. Now, if you guys have been following me since the beginning, you will have known that I recently moved, and this actually made it so that I have way more space than I've ever had for studio. Now I have three different stations for sculpting, painting, and dremeling. So I'm going to give you a bit of a studio tour and how I make this space work. For starts, this is a single bedroom. It's the biggest bedroom in the house and we have dedicated it to studio. Uh, I share this space with my boyfriend, so this is actually his studio table, is this whole area and he makes little miniature models. So I don't own this section, but I have taken the entire wall as my studio space. Camera tripod is always hanging out. My camera is usually in here um, so that it's easy to film with. I have a little TV table just set up with the Lazy Susan. The Lazy Susan is really useful for doing turntables of finished and in progress pieces. And this whole table here is dedicated to sculpting. So I actually have a couple of ribbons that I've hung. I have some reference images and the majority of my anatomy sculptures, but I usually have my phone with me when I'm sculpting here. I want to get some kind of a tablet set up or something a little bit better to have more immediate reference. I have my big daylight, which illuminates this whole table. I have a lot of my tools in separate containers here. So I have silicone tools, some crappy paint brushes for smoothing epoxy, and then my miscellaneous tools there. I keep my projects normally just on this table. I have epoxy sculpt back there and some clear acrylic rods, my isopropyl alcohol, and Magic Sculpt lives over here, paper towels and chop towels, as well as the tools that I use most of the time, a jar for epoxy, some paper towels for that, and more Magic Sculpt. So this is completely dedicated to sculpting and it generally does not look this clean ever. Down here I have all of my tools. So I have my tray which has my sandpaper envelope, a wood thing that I can use at any point, and a plastic thing I can use at any point. I keep majority of the tools in this container. So I have my baking soda, my blue tape, armature wire, glass beads for eyes, Bondo, veining medium, super glue toothpicks, and I have a bunch of magnets and stuff in a little container there. In the second drawer, I keep all of my tools and my sandpaper. I have a little dish for some used sandpaper in there. Tin foil and glue sticks, extra sculpty. Uh, I have my scrub brushes for stripping in here and just a bunch of random tools. In the very bottom, I have my heat pad for clay, a hot glue gun, and a hair dryer. This is just larger tools. I have more sandpaper in the corner. And this is just like a project that I'm currently working on, so I just have that stuff in a little dish. Coming over to this side, I have my painting station. So that's a completely separate desk. It lays right underneath the window, which is pretty fun. Um, so I got a view of the backyard. It gets pretty sunny about midday here. I use the ring light for my painting and that way I can maneuver it around a little easier and it doesn't take up so much table space. So I have my airbrush cleaner. I have Vallejo paints. I have my cheap acrylic paints, golden high flow acrylics, my oil paints, and my Joe Sanjas as well as my pan pastels, a brush cleaner, and my oil mediums. I keep just a color chart here, as well as a hair growth chart, and I keep track of what I'm painting and what colors I'm using. I keep my paint brushes here. My Winsor & Newton paint brushes stay in that kind of container separate from the other ones, as well as my pens pastel pencils, uh, I have crappier brushes, I have makeup brushes for pastel, and then my really fancy expensive brushes here from actual art stores, a can of water, and I have a laptop that I have here for reference and that has been working really well to just have your reference right where you need it. It's a super old laptop, it barely runs, but it works to just view images. Up there I have my Bose speaker as well as my respirator and a couple other paint trays in that box, and I keep a couple projects just lining this windowsill because it's really pretty, including my juggernaut and my studio air purifier is there. I also have a really long, like four foot phone cord so that I can watch Netflix while I paint 
or listen to music and I don't have to worry about my phone dying if you know if I have references on my phone. And so that just hangs out on a command hook and I can have it either on my painting desk or my sculpting desk because that cord is so long. So that's really a useful tip if you have more than one desk. I keep a roll of paper towel as well and my two airbrushes on an airbrush stand here. As well, I have my Lazy Susan underneath the desk. I have a couple things in here. Just some sponges for acrylics, Q-tips, micro brushes, pointy nail tees, chapstick, because you always need chapstick, <laughs> and my airbrush cleaning tools, my pencil sharpener with my eraser pencil, and I keep some blue tape here for masking off certain areas of the horses that paint. And then my air compressor lives down here. So I have some airbrush cleaner, some airbrush things, my gloves readily accessible. I have some sheets of paper and some more rubber gloves down there. Then I have this box, which is just for used paint palettes that need to be cleaned. So I've hung this big painter sheet on command hooks from the roof. And the reason being is that this is very messy. This is the Dremel station. So when I am Dremeling, I can just hang the sheet so that it hangs fully straight and gets, doesn't get in the way, and that way I can Dremel in here and it protects the rest of the studio from getting the flyaways. So this is just another little desk that I have. I have my smoke trap air fan up there. I have a base cell container that I usually have water in, and I have my Dremel on a stand with a flex shaft as well as my respirator for Dremeling. I have a really nice little lamp that I got and I keep my heat gun there as well as my vise. And I have a couple of little tools down in here. So I have all the pieces that I use most of the time. I have extra, extra sanding drums in here, according to grit. Then I have some extra dremeling tools, and some extra dremeling bits, my gloves, some pliers, my hacksaw, and my safety goggles. Down there, I just keep my box of parts, so anything that I cut off the models that I don't want anymore, I just throw in there, and also used aerosol lid. That's my actual Dremel case that it came with. I have another table for just like the painting canvases, and I have this stool that is specifically for this. Then over here, I just have a body box. Literally, it's just a box of horses. <laughs> There's lots of different horses in there. Um, I'm trying to accumulate a bigger body run just so that I have more choices of what I would like to work on. And the bottom box is actually full of stable mates, so it's stable mates and traditionals whenever I'm feeling it. And then this single shelf is mine as well. So on the very top, I just have a box of boxes. It's just miscellaneous bins and cups and different things that I use to just organize things out. I have some canvas painting acrylics up there as well as some paint brushes and these are my run of primed models or models in progress that are little steel mates as well as some knock horses that I got. This is normally my work in progress shelf so these are the horses that are in progress most of the time including my finished commission. Then I have all of my sealers on the next shelf so my testers dull coat and my primer and I like to store them sideways so that the, pigment the pigments don't settle in the bottom of the can. I also have some more isopropyl alcohol and some gesso. On this shelf I just have progress horses that cannot stay in the body box because they may wreck so just work in progress. I have a commission thing in there and also these medallions that I attempted to sculpt. In this container this is my resin casting supplies, so I have popsicle sticks, lighter, uh, ease release, and my smooth-on resin products, plastic cups and all that. I have some Lego pieces for building casting boxes, I have some monster clay over here, some uh, canvas painting stuff, towels, and my shipping supplies in a little container. And then the bottom is just kind of miscellaneous crap, so uh, my easy off spray, I just have like extra ziplocs, extra acrylic paint, a uh, little fan in there, some extra filters, and this like whole box is all extra stuff so anything I run out of I pretty much have here as extra and then I also have this box that just carries my silicone molds and medallion stuff in there so this is the whole studio 
and I have that one shelf. Of course, my boyfriend has the second shelf. I love this space. I spend most of my time in this space, and I love having the separate painting desk from the sculpting desk so that I keep things particle free and mess free and separate at all times. So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you like my studio as much as I do. I really enjoy this space.